and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on the video if this is your first time here i am jackie can ten and a half stone lost to date and of course i just want to get down to feeling comfortable in my own skin whatever that may be probably another two three stone to go i'm not sure we'll see when we get there and of course i've got to maintain it from then on i love doing these videos i do one a week one upload on usually on a monday evening so if you want to stick around that'd be fantastic i also have a community page on facebook where all my subscribers get together and they chat to each other and they ask for help and they show their food for extra support and um any tips or anything like that going on so without further ado the video is just over 20 minutes long so pause it go and grab yourself a cuppa come back and press play <laughs> been fasting 17 hours and just had a lovely lovely lunch and a cup of coffee we're going back in in a few minutes hello darling hello. how are you you say hello yeah, yeah. we just had your lunch this is your picnic your picnic what animals have we seen two, two. the sandwiches <gasps> wow two jaffa cakes yeah. They're my favourite. I haven't had a Jaffa cake in a long time. Did you see the giraffes? Yeah. Were they good? Yeah. Should we go see some more animals? We're going to go and see some more animals. Come on. Just got back from the zoo. 12,000 steps today. I'm real chuffed because it's the most I've done in quite some time. And uh, I'm now in the hot tub, just soaking my joints. And Richard's just getting a bit of a, a bit of a brandy, a bit of brandy and lemonade. Not bad, is it? Eh? Why not? Why not? Oh my days, what a day it's been. Trying to get everything sorted out for my students to have their exams. And there's just been a bit of miscommunication. And I thought, oh my gosh, so I've been trying to sort it out and emails back and forth. And uh, suddenly I thought, you know what? It's eight o'clock and I haven't eaten. I've had a tiny bit of chicken about that, that small and that's it and I'm famished and I don't really want to eat late at night because then that means that 16 hours when I do eat is going to push me a little bit later on in the day. So I'm sort of debating do I bother to eat now and just fast all the way through until say 12 o'clock tomorrow. I've got to start work early tomorrow so I'm starting at 1 o'clock so that means an early dinner. I was like oh god. So I'm not sure what to do. I'm a little bit, 
Um, what do you do in a crisis? Now, normally, I would have just gone to the shop and just filled my basket up with chocolate and goodness, goodness knows what, and come home and just stuff my face, self stupid. But no, I've got to do this sensibly, haven't I? Yeah, I think I'm going to have an omelette, just a plain cheese omelette. I think that'll do, just a small one. That will tide me over until tomorrow. Yeah. Yes. So, hello, I'm going to have an omelette. It's not. It is Wednesday. I lied again. What's going on? Richard and I have just been to the shops and it feels like we haven't done this in such a long time, doesn't it? I know we walked around the zoo the other day and we got, well, I don't know how many of you did. You've done quite a few steps. I did about 13,000 steps, which was good, but I didn't get my heart rate up. So just coming out today, we decided to go across the field and we had to dodge dog poo. Not good, not good. So we have decided to walk back on the path and just hope we haven't got to dodge anymore. But anyway, I'm in a bit of a quandary at the moment because I'm kind of like, my head's all over the place. Although I'm counting calories, which I absolutely love and I swear by, I think it is amazing. I've also been doing a bit of fasting 16 hours and on the odd Monday when we've been out I've been fasting for 40 hours which is all great then I started reading and listening to videos and they were saying about cutting down on carbohydrates which I, I understand I completely understand so I tried a little bit of this and then I'm kind of like I don't know I feel great about it but it seems like such hard work. And yesterday, because of my day, I didn't eat until quite late. And I, I got what they call hangry. Hangry is where you're hungry and you're angry. And you don't know why. So it's that a thing. <laughs> it is. Is that it a is thing? A, it is a thing. Hangry, and I will, I will show it to you. Hangry, where you're hungry and you're angry. And yesterday being a very strange day, oh, a very strange day, I'm not going to say any more. Oh look babe, there's a path up there. Yeah. Anyway, digress. Um, that I ate when I got home rather late. And of course then when Richard came home, we decided to just sort of have a little bit more cheese and we found some crackers and we had some crackers which obviously carbohydrates which isn't brilliant you know and uh, of course I slept really really well again and then I got up in the morning and what I have been having is lemon in my water and then of course then you read oh lemon's really bad for your teeth and all that and it's this bit sending my head in a spin. It's like, ah, what's good, what isn't? So I thought, you know what? Scrap it, scrap the whole lot. Start again. Just counting calories. Be mindful about my sugar. Obviously, I've cut out a lot of sugar and I'm still keeping with that because that has been a bit problematic in the past. And see where it goes. And just be mindful see what happens. Back now from our shop and I've got changed because it's so hot I've decided to have liver and bacon. Yeah I know some of you are going oh awful. <laughs> I don't like awful. Um, I kind of love it. I love um, pig's liver and bacon, tin of tomatoes, a little bit of onion and some mushrooms, one um, oxo cube and a little bit of water and a few spices and um, that is it and I shall be having that either on its own or I may just have it with cauliflower rice, depending on time really. So the time is 
11 o'clock and I need to be out of the house by half 12. So I've got to get myself ready for work, I've got to eat, so it's a bit of a rush. And now I'm going to do myself a sandwich as well. I've just bought some 50-50 bread and I'm going to have ham and cheese, a little bit of salad in it and count that as my calories. And that's it. That's my day. Not great, is it? That's your day, Gary. Let me know. It is Thursday and it's just like gone really really quickly and I got home tonight and I thought I haven't done any filming. I've barely done anything. You know, you can see loads of animals at the beginning of the video. I do apologize. My students are all doing um, their vocal exams this week so it's been a little bit hectic and I've had quite a lot on to be honest so sorry if the um... <laughs> I've got big ears. Uh, yeah, so sorry if my video's a little bit boring this week, but hopefully you might get some ideas of, of food. Um, now, I have been, over recent days, cutting down on carbs, but today I want um, little toasties in my Breville, and um, I'm really looking forward to it with a little bit of side salad as well.
glorious Friday. <coughs> Hello, it is Friday already. Where's the time going? I know, I know. Tell me about it. My day off today and Richard is working till six o'clock. So I have the whole day to myself. So I've decided to go and see my son. I haven't seen my son since poor little Sarge was put down. So I want to spend some time with him. And we are, I think, going to walk into town and then find somewhere to have lunch. Absolutely gorgeous spending some just quality time with him. It really really was and I'm now home and I'm really hungry Now what you saw on my plate was half a chicken, but I really don't know how many calories that is when I put it, oh, That's my liver exploding in the microwave Oops Yeah, I don't know how many calories that is when I put it in NutriCheck half a chicken it comes up with the skin as well and I can't find anywhere we need to check with half a chicken without the skin if you know can you let me know so if I have it again another time I would really you know have a rough idea how many calories and I, I haven't got a clue I couldn't even guess with my eyes how heavy it would have been so and that's without the fat so I've come home I feel really hungry now and the time is just gone six o'clock so what I'm having is cauliflower rice that I had left over in a little bit of uh, garlic oil. Not much there. And as you heard, I've got my little liver and bacon going on there. It looks a sight, it's exploded. So <laughs> I'm just gonna have to sort that out. Yes, you will. Are you all right being in the video? Yeah, we yeah. love you. Yeah. Look at my mum and dad. Look at them all waving at the window. Wave. Bye. Love you. <laughs> Hello. It is Saturday morning and we are out of the door on the way to Basildon, the home of Alison Moyet. I am performing at Basildon Pride today and I can't wait because I did it about three years ago and it was fantastic. They've moved the venue to a massive park so I'm hoping the stage is quite big. That'll be good. Now, this morning I got up and I thought, oh yeah, I've got plenty of time to put my makeup on. And I started with my eyelashes. Could I put them on? No, I got glue everywhere, stuck my eyes together, hence why they look really raw today. Have you girls got any tips on how to put eyelashes on? Because I'm blind as a bat and I just get glue everywhere and I can't see anything and I look hideous and I love having my eyelashes on. So if you've got any tips, please let me know. Wear glasses. I do try and wear my glasses, but then I can't, I put the glue on it and then when I go and put them on, they just, they're all up here and they look ridiculous. Number. 
spinach and ricotta, cannelloni, and it should look like that with a bit of luck. I've all gone the chips as well, so oh, go me, I'm being a good girl alone. The gig went really well. Um, I think if you saw me on Go Live on Facebook, the sound was dreadful because it, it's, it's what it is. Uh, it's so loud out there that it's my phone that has to pick it up and it's not big enough. So the sound sort of distorts a little bit. So it sounded absolute rubbish. Hence why I don't often go live. And um, a lot of people were sitting outside the tent because it's quite warm. And um, yeah, it was a family day out. Everybody seemed to enjoy it. Got a good reception. And um, it was worth it. It was a really lovely, lovely day. And we're now on the way home. So looking forward to having my dinner and um, getting home, really. Yeah, getting in the tub. Might get in the tub when we get home. So see you later. In true Jackie style, when I'm hungry, I forget to take a video. So here's my half eaten dinner. It says on the app that it's over 909 calories, but I think that's with chips, so we'll just have a look. <laughs> I love you. again four pound and a quarter on this week i've had a great week and i spoiled it but do you know what it's one of those things we all do these things we all kind of like you know have a great week i feel incredibly slim this week and i was really looking forward to standing on the scales but i guess it's just not been my week at all I don't know, I can make excuses, I'll visit the water, you know, uh, you know I've done a lot of walking this week, you know, it could have been this, could have been that, it could have been the carbs, it could have been, you know, you could, you could drive yourself absolutely mad, but I'm not going to, because this is what I do, this is what I do, I'm going to, you know, possibly, hopefully, lose most of it or all of it by next week, as you've seen through most of my videos, I'm up and down, up and down, um, but I'm, you know, I'm going to get there so uh, that's one thing i am confident and i think you've got to remain confident if you want to lose weight and that is the only thing that really kind of gets you through look at the state of me oh, goodness me um but onwards and upwards downwards yeah if you know what i mean downwards in weight for next week um that chocolate what on earth possessed me to go for chocolate dark chocolate yeah apparently it's got health benefits but do you know what it was so sickly it was so so sweet it was like oh but i just carried on eating it and i think it was a tiredness but anyway i did it i've learned from it onwards now my coffee page i would just love to say if you want to donate a coffee or two whatever it, it's not really coffee it's my coffee page it's where i'm saving up to get me arm bingo wings done eventually because they cost an awful lot of money and it's just some way of you know um, saving up i'm putting some of my own money in towards it obviously but i know some of you have said that you'd like to you know um, help out in some way which is fantastic there's no obligation whatsoever but i have said that if anyone wants to donate i will happily give you a bit of a shout out uh, towards the end of my videos and this week I would very much like to say a huge huge thank you to Kate Wilson, Pauline Holden again thank you so much my darling, Jennifer Tilsbury, Jane, Jane Darston, I hope I've said that right and two anonymous uh, donators thank you thank you thank you so much 
there, as I said, there's no obligation whatsoever. It's just a little bit that goes towards, um, I know you appreciate me doing these videos. Um, thank you. Um, what else can I say? If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe down here. It is completely free. Please tell your friends and family or anyone that you feel would love these videos. If they just want to have a laugh or cry or just not listen to me at all. I really don't know. <laughs> um, Nudge Check works. It really does. Keep up the good work, whatever you're doing. Let me know how you are all getting on down below. Have you lost this week? Have you put on? Have you resonated with me at all in these videos? You know, just let me know. I hope you're enjoying the community page as well. The Factor Health community page. I love seeing you there. And it's so nice to see you sort of all commenting on each other's posts, which is fabulous. It really, really is. Keep those food posts coming. Please reach out for help if you're having a bit of a bad week. Because I think I'm going to be in there this week. <laughs> Can you help out? Um, but it's so lovely. It's your page. It's for you. Not for me. That's why I don't want to keep, you know, harping on. Um, but anyway, I'm running on yet again. So hopefully, hopefully lose a few pounds next week. I really look forward to seeing you then. Um, lots of love from me. Stay safe. See you soon. I love you. I love you, baby. Mwah, 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 mwah.